Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Zuzka and today I have for you bunny slope workout number one and I'm gonna be posting these bunny slope workouts for you guys on my YouTube channel every single week so that you can start moving, you can start exercising. These workouts are slow paced workouts so that anyone can start doing these and start feeling good, start feeling more energized and fit. So get ready, you're gonna need exercise mat, a chair for support and three pound dumbbells. So for the first part of this workout, you're gonna need a chair. So you're gonna stand next to the chair, maybe a little bit behind it so that you can comfortably use it for support. And the first exercise looks like this. You're gonna stand with your feet together. Make sure that you're not arching your lower back. So engage your lower abs, pull the pelvis in, chest up, engage your abs, shoulders back and down. Now extend your arm out to the side. You're gonna get up onto your toes, down. Now lift your left foot to the height of your right knee and back down. That's one rep, we're doing 20. Up onto your toes, then lift the knee up. That's two. Up, up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 10 more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's 20. Now, Open up your feet just a little bit. Now lift your left foot up again to the height of your right knee. Kick back behind you, back down and up onto your toes. And again, knee up, leg behind you, down and up onto your toes. And keep going, we're gonna do 20 reps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 10 more, 11, 12, keep a good posture, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's 20. Now, leg back and tap forward. And as you tap forward, you're gonna bend the right knee slightly. So leg back, tap forward, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
and 20. Now switch sides, switch legs. You're gonna do the same three sets on the other leg. Feet together, hold on to the chair. Engage your lower abs, just up, shoulders back and down, arm out to the side. Now up onto your toes, down, your right foot goes up to the height of your left knee and down. And 20 reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, open your feet slightly and Lift your right foot up towards your left knee, kick back, bring it back down and up onto your toes. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now your right leg goes back. Front tap and you're bending slightly your left knee. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and that's 20. Okay, get ready for part number two. That part is going to be targeting your arms. Grab your dumbbells and stand with your feet about hip width apart and bend your knees slightly. Now you're gonna bring the dumbbells in front of you and push your hips back. Keep your back straight, do not round your back like this. Now bring the dumbbells behind you, rise up a little bit, but your knees are still slightly bent. And then push your hips back again. So we're gonna do 20 reps. Get ready, start here and go. One, 
two, three, shoulder blades together, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, feet wider apart and you're going to be doing upright row. So chest up, shoulders back and down. Do not arch your lower back. So again, you use the lower abs to kind of pull your hips forward and you're going to bring the dumbbells up towards your collarbone and down. 20 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, bend forward, push your hips back, keep your back straight, extend your arms, and now you're gonna bring your shoulder blades together, your elbows up, all the way up, and then extend your arms again. Knees are slightly bent. Get ready, we're gonna do 20 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's 20. Stand up, put the dumbbells down. We're done working on our arms, shoulders, and back. Now we're gonna get down to work on our abs. So the first exercise is going to be in and out knees and you're going to support yourself on your elbows. So your elbows underneath your shoulders and you're going to extend your legs out and try to bring them off of the ground if you can. If you can, then keep them on the ground and when you're ready, you're going to help yourself with your arms, get onto your palms and bring the knees towards your chest and then lay back down. We're gonna do 20 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 
and 20. Now, lay on your back completely. Raise your legs up. And now, you're going to tap with your toes towards your right side. So you're going to do a little twist with your hips and up. Extend your legs up, point your toes. And then towards the other side. Tap towards your left side and extend your legs up. So that you can really feel it in your obliques. And let's do 20 reps, alternating sides. Tap, up. One, tap, up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now bicycle. One knee goes towards your chest. You're going to bring your hands behind your head and your opposite elbow goes to your knee. And you're going to switch and switch and you're going to do 20 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And last exercise is going to be tabletop crunches. So make sure that your knees are above your hips, flex your toes, and palms up, extend your arms. You're going to do these tiny little crunches. Just a few inches off of, your, off of the ground with your upper back. And let's do 20 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And relax. Now we're going to stretch a little bit towards the end, just a couple of yoga moves so that you stretch your shoulders, the back of your legs and your abs. So get on your four, you're going to do cat, round your back, pull your tummy in and now cow, arch your back, look up, one more time, cat, cow. Exhale. Inhale. Now tuck your toes under and we're going to do downward dog. So lift your hips up. Stretch your shoulders. Push away from the floor. Relax your neck. Now your goal is to bring your heels all the way to the ground and lock your knees. If that's too hard, you can bend your knees and just pull your tailbone up so that your back is straight. And then eventually, over time, you're going to work on your flexibility and one day you're going to be able to reach um, the heels towards the ground. So don't worry about it now. It's not a big deal if you can't do it now. You can also bend one knee at a time. And now get onto your knees, the top of your feet go flat on the ground, 
and you know shift your hips forward so that your shoulders are not directly above your wrists but a little bit forward now bend your elbows so that your elbows get in about 90 degree angle and get into upward dog that's the easier version of chataranga so now we're gonna stretch our abs really pull yourself up press into the ground do not shrug your shoulders like this bring your shoulders away from your ears as much as possible squeeze your glutes and then down all the way down relax and you can get into the child pose and breathe so guys i hope you enjoyed our first body slope workout like i said these are going to be on my youtube channel on a regular basis on a weekly basis so don't miss them start moving with me and uh, hopefully you're gonna get to the point when you can do the beginner program in my z gym it's almost three months long and it's gonna get you really into good shape so that you can start doing my super intense workouts one day so that's the goal you have a goal start working on it be consistent and you'll see that you're gonna reach your goals sooner than you think just stay with it so subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new workouts and make sure to visit my website zuskalai.com and i will see you guys soon ciao